Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today Pangu officially posted a new blog entry on their site concerning iOS 9.2.1 and its security improvements. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing a question that I get asked all the time. Should I update to iOS 9.2.1, the latest public firmware, especially if I'm interested in jailbreaking? First, before we get into things though, if you happen to miss today's earlier video discussing Luca Tedesco's latest teaser, then just be sure to check it out. He has successfully achieved a full untethered jail break on iOS 9.2 and up. Again, check the cards as well as the annotations on your screens right now or down below in the more info if you miss that. So let's actually go ahead and switch on over to Google Chrome here. This is Pangu's official blog. We're going to tap on translate because it is in Chinese. It was posted by Pangu team member when known. And when we scroll through here, let's actually tap on try again. It appears that it wasn't able to translate it the first time. So when we scroll through here, we kind of just have a very rough translation of everything, but essentially WinKnown is detailing all of the new security improvements found inside of iOS 9.2.1 and on a more complex and technical level than we're actually going to get into in today's video. If you can understand and make sense of it though, then I will have a direct link to the blog post for those of you who are interested. But what most of us will be able to understand is what comes at the bottom. It is the synopsis and kind of what we can take away from this technical article. Now I'm going to read this rough translated version first before I get into one that I've adapted to make more sense. So, quote, it's noteworthy that this loophole in iOS sandbox trigger and therefore in the app can directly attack the kernel. The kernel code is executed to obtain permission. We recommend that users upgrade to the latest version as soon as possible and to avoid the installation of unknown origin app. So the version that I've adapted reads as follows. It's worth noting that at least one vulnerability in question can be triggered in the iOS sandbox, meaning it can attack the kernel from within an app to obtain kernel code execution permissions. We recommend that users upgrade to the latest version as soon as possible and that they avoid the installation of apps with unknown origins. And while WinKnown didn't specifically give details related to jailbreaking, since he is a part of the Pangu team, it is possible that he does have inside information as to what the next jailbreak will be released for and whether those on 9.2.1 will be covered. As I mentioned though, the main teams will always support the latest public firmwares at the time of the release of a new jailbreak. So we're going to switch back over to Safari here because Luca Tedesco chimed in after the fact and basically added on what WinKnown said. Now, I agree with him partially, but at the same time, I don't. So let's go ahead and tap on this here. He said, quote, by the way, I agree with WinKnown 100%. Update to 9.2.1. If you don't care about jailbreak, stick on 9.2 if you do. But if you stay on 9.2, please don't install untrusted apps. It's got some serious kernel bug out in the public. So what he means by this essentially is to stay on iOS 9.2 if you care about jailbreaking. Now, as I mentioned, when PP actually chimed in and discussed this very topic, they don't know when a new jailbreak is going to be released and which firmware the main developers are going to target. Because in the past, main jailbreak developers like Pangu and Taiji have always targeted the latest public firmwares. They're not going to release a new jailbreak for a firmware that's now outdated by Apple's standards. Because if they were going to jailbreak 9.2, instead of 9.2.1, they would have done so when 9.2.1 was still in beta testing, similar to what Pangu did for iOS 9.0.2 when they discovered 9.1 beta closed the jailbreak before it was released to the public. So as always, it is your choice whether you want to update. However, if you are jailbroken on iOS 9 through up to 9.0.2, definitely do not update until a new jailbreak is released because of course you will be locked out of jailbreaking for an unforeseen and an unknown period of time. However, if you're on iOS 9.1 or 9.2 and you wanna to go to 9.2.1, you can, but just note that there is a very, very slim possibility that another developer outside of Pangu or Taiji could release a jailbreak for iOS 9.2 or even 9.1, but that's very, very unlikely, and it's more probable that they would for iOS 9.2 instead of 9.1. So there's a very slim chance of that happening, as I mentioned. A jailbreak from Pangu or Taiji will target the latest public firmware at the time, so you can make the update to 9.2.1 knowing you will be covered by those jailbreak teams, but to err on the side of caution, stay on whichever firmware you're at, especially if you want to believe that an unknown team could release a jailbreak, and if you install applications that are distributed through a developer enterprise account, meaning ones that actually force you into trusting 
purchasing a certificate before they install, don't. Because as Winknown highlighted, it is very dangerous because these exploits were published when Apple patched them in 9.1, 9.2, and now 9.2.1. Also, unless you know for a fact, avoid applications that are distributed as an Xcode project file and force you to install them on a Mac. So I hope you guys liked this video. It clarified some things for you and it informed you enough to make an educated decision on whether you want to update personally. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I create new videos covering things like jailbreaking as well as iOS devices in general, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, subscribe if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.